what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i saw something pop up on my uh twitter feed uh actually a few times like it, it's it's starting to become a uh, a big uh big topic of discussion i'm gonna pull this up for you guys so you can guys see exactly what i'm talking about here so per wrestle votes cody rose versus roman reigns is on the table to main event wrestlemania 40 this has been um circulating on twitter i had some people hit me up on instagram talking about this very thing and i wanted to make a video on it to give my thoughts and opinions on it and um it's a simple no for me uh i don't think this feud needs to be drawn out for two wrestlemanias to be honest with you i've seen quite a few amount of people kind of lose interest in this whole cody trying to um trying to uh i guess you can say gain the championships or take the championships away from roman i think people i've seen a few people that are just over it to be honest with you uh they feel like it should have happened at wrestlemania and they feel like they shouldn't have to even it shouldn't be a thing of now we're trying to see cody go through some adversity in order to you know get the championships that he was ultimately screwed out of you know and people just lost interest and honestly i can't blame them considering at first and it's crazy how things work out in wrestling at first people were really on the the sammy sammy train like maybe sammy should be in the main event but ultimately they realized that wasn't going to be the case and then they started getting behind cody even more you know i think it's a testament to cody's actually being able to overcome that wave of everybody wants sammy or a lot of people a lot of the fans wanting sammy to be the person to take down roman and instead um you know he was able to overcome that wave that 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 period of people wanting it i was one of the people that was thinking maybe an audible i was i was one of the people who was thinking maybe sammy uh goes for the universal championship and then roman ends up uh dropping to sammy and and um and uh what's his name cody Rhodes. but ultimately it didn't happen that way and i'm okay with that i'm okay with sammy getting the tag titles with kevin owens i think that's pretty cool i enjoy that story there but I think a lot of us started to buy in and it as WrestleMania got closer, it was like, you know what? We we can we're okay with Cody being the one to get the job done. Everywhere he went, he was getting huge pops, you know, he was getting great babyface reactions. Like everywhere he went, people were wanting to see Cody to get the job done. And when WrestleMania came, it looked like he was gonna get the job done. People were ready for him to get the job done. It was like, this is it. This is the moment. It's all you saw really on Twitter and social media and at the place, at the event, at WrestleMania. And nothing. It didn't happen. And for a lot of people, that just deflated them too much where it's like, I check out. And it's just one of those situations where I don't think they can stretch this out any longer. In my opinion, nope. Nothing past SummerSlam. And even then, I, I feel like SummerSlam is not the best. It's not the most optimal moment for Roman to drop. Obviously, I think WrestleMania is. But I don't think anybody... Well, I, I'm not saying people won't be invested, but I don't think... It's, it's going to be so much harder to have people care about Cody trying to get the job done and finish the story all the way up to next year's WrestleMania. That is a very, very, very long time to really continue building up this this adversity arc that's what they're going with like no no honestly in my opinion if it ain't SummerSlam, then i don't it, it's it's not gonna it, it's not gonna be cody then it would have to be somebody else and right now they haven't built up anybody else that makes sense i'm serious i think people are holding out a little bit of hope for SummerSlam. And I, I think that's the people that are left on the Cody Rose train. I think they're just holding out hope for SummerSlam. That's really it. And the fact that they're hoping that this bloodline thing really starts to pick up and the storyline there of the bloodline crumbling 
hopefully that plays into it as well because we know if the bloodline crumbles that's when we know okay this is without a shadow of a doubt this is when roman loses because now per storyline he doesn't have help anymore the help he has is gone and i think they need to uh keep pushing that narrative and that storyline as well and also i'm filming this the day of the uh, uh of the wwe draft right before smackdown so obviously they need to be on the same brand for this to work most likely it'll be on smackdown uh for this to even play out but honestly i just don't see wwe being able to keep people entertained enough or wanting them to be uh well yeah keeping people entertained enough all the way to next year's wrestlemania for this match to happen again and for them to finally give him the 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 win i just think it will be way too late at that point it's either SummerSlam or bus I'm, I'm being serious because anything after SummerSlam, i think people are just not gonna be as interested anymore there's only so much you can do of teasing the fans that's just my my personal opinion on that i think they can't extend this feud that long it's just it's not one of those feuds where it's like all right maybe say for example in an alternate timeline alternate universe cody does win and then the the fall of the bloodline or whatever and maybe then you have a rematch at next year's wrestlemania and roman's trying to get the titles back granted i think whenever roman loses uh <laughs> he should never ever be in title picture contention ever again because i think this is this is this is all he needed i don't think he needs no more main event titles after this run but if you wanted to do that rivalry of roman trying to get his get back he's coming back from the ashes now or maybe do a double turn now roman's the face and cody's the heel at wrestlemania 40 you possibly could have did that but the only way that works is obviously if cody would have won this year so that's just my take on it i just i just honestly personally don't think that this feud can last all the way to wrestlemania 40 i me personally i'm i'm all me just viewing it how it is now i'm only holding off some type of reservation for SummerSlam, and it, it just it only makes sense like i i don't think i don't think it they can just I mean, I'm sure they would try to. I'm sure Vince and, you know, maybe Triple H, I don't know. They may try to do this. I hope that's not the case. Just go ahead and have Roman drop the belts <laughs> at SummerSlam and we go from there. Because honestly, I think the fans, they, they want to see something different. I think a lot of the fans are like, you know, okay, the Roman Reigns thing is cool. All right, he had passed. Whenever he passed a thousand days, that's cool. Let's get the belts off him. Let's get it on Cody. Let's get some new fresh matchups. Let's get all of this on the road. So we will see what happens. I hope this is not the case. This has been going crazy on Twitter and on Instagram. So comment down below. Let me know. I want y'all opinions on this. Do y'all think? That they can extend this this storyline, this feud, all the way to next year's WrestleMania. Would y'all be okay with them running it back again at next? Uh, well, ne yeah, next year's WrestleMania. Let me know how y'all feel about that, or do y'all feel like no, it needs to end at SummerSlam so we can move forward and have something different for next year's WrestleMania main event? But I appreciate all love and support you guys have shown on the channel Road to 150K. And I'm still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.